is up everybody so I'm going to be going over the execution of trades and what I mean by that is after you've done your analysis you're ready to mark up your stop loss and take profit in TradingView and then you're going to transition over to MetaTrader whether it's four or five and you're going to place your order and so we've been getting a lot of questions about how do we go about trading from TradingView to MetaTrader because the prices don't always line up especially for indices and prop firms uh, usually it could vary between like six to ten points between the chart broker on TradingView to the broker on your prop firm. And so I'm going to go over that really quick. And as you can see, I have AU up. So we're going to look at Forex pairs. And what you'll notice with Forex pairs as I minimize this, I created a FTMO free trial. So that way we could see the difference between the prices very easily. And I could just kind of go over that. So let me put EA up in the background as well. And we're going to open up trading view again. Let's close this. So as you could see, obviously in Forex, the fourth decimal point is the pip. And so you, it's 71.6. And right here, it's 71.6 as well. So for AU, at the very least, AU doesn't run all that fast. It is basically the same. So when you put your stop loss in trading view for at least AU, you could do the same exact thing for MetaTrader, but I do not recommend that and I'll go over it soon. And so if we go over to probably one of the most volatile pairs in Forex GN, so we're in that in trading view, let's do that in MT4 very quickly. So pulling them both up, as you can see, GN is at 19936 and it's at 199331. So it does vary a little bit for GN about two pips or so, but whenever it gets more volatile, especially for news and stuff, it could it could gap between the two prices. So I'm gonna go over the most extreme case that you'll see and then show you all how I go about this. So very quickly, we're gonna go over to NAS. I pull up NAS on MetaTrader and TradingView. And as you can see, to compare the prices very quickly, you're at 11663 or 11664. It's gonna be going very fast. I'm on the one minute for both, but you're 662 right now and you're 669. So you're within like six to eight points with which could affect your stop loss. You could literally be looking at a stop loss here. And since price on TradingView is seven points lower than MetaTrader, when you go to put your stop loss, you're gonna have a way bigger stop loss than you intend to on MetaTrader compared to TradingView. So the way I go about this is simple. And so let's use NAS as an example because it is the most extreme case. Let's just say price closed on this candle right here and we're going to place our stop loss below basically these two uh, candles. So as you see, we look left, you had a big candle here and here, but we're looking to go at the lowest point. And so I marked that point and it's at 11,652, but that's not gonna be the same case in MetaTrader. And so with our handy dandy TTF risk calculator, I'm gonna go over kind of an example of how I go about this. And so I'm gonna do a pending order. That way you could see where the entry is because price is continuously moving. And so on this last candle, so this candle here, so I'll do a buy pending and going over to trade view, as you can see, I wanna place my stop loss under here. And so I'll go to MetaTrader and I'll just put my stop loss right there. I am not looking at the stop loss number and in this case it just so happens to be around 11 but that won't always be the case and so what i do is instead of looking at the specific number as you could see down here what i'll do is i'll look left and see where the stop loss intersects and it basically intersects right under this big bullish candle so in metatrader i'll come here and i'll find that big bullish candle right here and I'll put my stop loss right under that and go about that way. And so from there, after you hit buy, you can hit send order, but this is a pending order, so it won't go through. But just for the sake of things and just to show off the TTF risk calculator as well. So I'll get rid of it and start over. So if you hit buy, it'll bring up a red line for your stop loss and a blue line for your take profit. If you want to change your take profit to like a 1.5 or a 2, you come up to ratio, you hit 1.5, or you can make it a 3, and it'll be a 3 take profit wherever you put your stop loss, which is really cool, and your stop loss line will stay exactly where you want to set it. So in this case, in our example, I want to put it right here, I want to go for a buy, and then from there I hit send order, and I'm good to go. I'm in the trade here, US NAS, 
and I'm just going to take it out because just as an example. And so in this case, we were able to take a buy. So if we go back to AU and we'll go on to our charts and we'll do some super duper quick analysis. And so in this case, I'm like in a sell here and I want to put my stop loss right here above this recent swing. So fair enough. So what we'll do now is we'll go into AU as you can see here, we'll place a sell, so we'll click sell, and that doesn't place a sell right away. Let me just make that clear. It just brings up the stop loss and the take profit to navigate where you want to put your stop loss at. And so your stop loss line won't be able to move. As you can see, I'm trying to click it here. What you have to do, if you don't see the little circle here, you double click the red line, you can now see the circle and it can move. Just like we had in our analysis, we want to put it at the recent swing, so we don't care about this number. And so we come into MetaTrader, and this is our recent swing. We like that, we hit send order, and we're good to go. And you place your trade. So that is how we go about placing trades from TradingView into MetaTrader. It does not matter if price varies, the numbers don't matter at all. The candles bodies are the same exact length, it's just that the numbers slightly differ. It's the same exact quantity. So I just wanna make that clear because people get kind of confused. And I can understand that as a new trader, you don't understand, you, you think that the price is different, like the candles are different because the price is different, but it's just the price numbers themselves are different, but the candles bodies, like the lengths are exactly the same. So whenever you're placing buying and sells, make sure you look at where your stop loss is intersecting to, and then find that in MetaTrader. It'll save y'all tons of confusion and headaches so i hope that helps and if y'all have any questions feel free to drop them in discord and one of us will be glad to help you with that so thank you peace